welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Anime Playmaker vs. Spectre Time to do it. Allow me the honor of going first. I summon Sunsea Genius Loki in attack mode. I Link Summon! Link One Sun Avalon Dryas! I'll place this card face down and end my turn. Nice! My turn! Ha! I draw! By Don't let us down! Monster from my hand to the graveyard, I'm allowed to summon Pit Trooper! And with it, I can create my circuit! Time to kick ass! The summoning condition requires one Cybers monster, so I sent my bitch trooper in the Link Arrow. I Does not sound too bad. Link Disciple! Next, I'll be bringing out my Link Infra Flyer. I can automatically summon it next to my Link monster's Link. That's really convenient. I Link Summon! Link 1, Link Devotee! Blow that up by summoning Cyber's Gadget. Come on out, Latency! I Link Summon! Link 2, Binary Sorceress! Link Summon! Link 2, Multi Sledgehammer! I Link Summon! Link 2, Binary Blader! Since I just attacked with a cybers type Link Monster, my Multi Sledgehammer gains one Hammer Counter. That's really convenient. Binary Sorceress's ability. Once per turn, I can cut the attack points of one of the monsters currently on my field in half. It's all coming together. And then give those points to another monster. Binary Sorceress grants 800 of her attack points to Binary Blader. That's really convenient. And now, let's do this! Binary Blader! Attack his son Vine Gardner! And Spectre, this won't be a single attack. What made you get to that assumption? So your monster will not be destroyed. Can't say the same for your life points, though. That really hits where it hurts. I activate Gardner's ability for every- What do you want? I will give it to you. Increases the damage by 800. So instead of taking 2,000 points of damage, I only take 1,200. That's really convenient. I'll take any damage I can get, and Binary Sorceress's special ability restores my life points equal to the damage you took. So your loss is my gain, Spectre. I like it. And since I attacked with a Link monster, Sledgehammer gains another counter. That's really convenient. Everyone who profits. When I take damage, I can play Sun Avalon Glorious Growth. This trap summons a Sunvine token. When nothing ruins the game plan. In addition, I can now utilize it to manifest my circuit. Huh? Wait a minute. That can't be right. The summoning conditions require me to use at least two plant monsters. Two is the best number for this job. Gardner and Sun Avalon Trias in the Link Arrows. <laughs> I Link Summon Link 3 Sun Avalon Triano. Guess what happens now? Now then, due to Glorious Growth's additional effect, I regain life points equal to the damage I just took, and you take damage equal to that amount. Thanks! I've been caught in a deadly combo from which there's no escape! Neither do I. Binary Blader! Attack Spectre! Oh no. I'm going to die. Whatever will I do? I told you that any damage I take is temporary. Do you know what time it is? Activates! Since you dealt me damage, I can summon a Sunvine Link monster next to its Link. That sounds oddly familiar. So come, Sunvine Gardner! The truth you need to know. Then I regain life points equal to the damage that I just took. Need I remind you, you are stuck in my loop of despair. You can't escape it. And like before, Glorious Growth deals you damage equal to the amount I regain! Ah! Thanks! I've been caught in a deadly combo from which there's no escape! My sledgehammer gets another counter. That's really convenient. Second ability. When you have a monster on your feet, 
and Sledgehammer is co-linked with another Cybers monster and can attack you directly. Positive card relationships. I'll just regain my life points like every single time before. Must I keep teaching you this painful lesson or will you learn from your mistakes? Need I remind you? You are stuck in my loop of despair. You can't escape it. My Sledgehammer activates its third ability. Don't let us down. Counters, multi Sledgehammer gains 1,000 attack points for each one until the end of the turn. That's 4,000 attack points. Oh no. I'm going to die. Whatever will I do? Go, Sledgehammer! Attack Spectre directly for all his life points. You can't handle this power. So you mean all those silly, useless attacks were just a setup to erase all my life points at once? Haha! <laughs> you got me! Looks like I lose. Actually, it's me who's got you. Huh? Coincidence, I think not. Another effect, too. It's an effect that allows me to stop your monster's attack if it happens to be directed straight at me. <laughs> then I redirect your attack to another one of my monsters. That sounds oddly familiar. Gigs, I've been caught in a deadly combo from which there's no escape. It's binary sorceress once again restores my life points. Deja vu. I gain a monster. Oh, I regain all of my life points as well. Orius Growth lashes away the life points you gain. Thanks. I've been caught in a deadly combo from which there's no escape. The summoning requirement is one plant type monster. You're my number one. Genius Loki in the Link Arrow. I Link Summon. Link One Sunbite Thrasher. Nice. And since it's linked to my Dryanome, it gains 800 attack points for every one of its links. It's free real estate. That's too strong. Now, Thrasher, thrash his binary blader. You need to calm down with that. Binary Sorceress, activate your ability. Oh, deja vu. Binary blader. There are no limits to the power of this card. But you still take the damage! You saved yourself some life points, but thanks to Thrasher's ability, you will now unfortunately lose the allegiance of one of your best monsters. I don't like where this is going. It's quite simple. I gain control of the monster that was just destroyed in battle. That, my friends, makes all the difference. It's and now, Binary Blader attacks your Binary Sorceress! <laughs> Why does everything you do relate to death? I summon Genius Loki for a third time! Three is just right! And I'll use it to expand the reach of my forest! The summoning conditions require two plant monsters! With this card, victory will be mine! Loki in the Link Arrows! I Link Summon! Link 2 Sun Avalon Daphne! We are in the driver's seat. We decide who lives or dies. By tributing binary blader, Daphne returns two gardeners in my grave to my deck. And that means I opened up another link to which I can summon. When nothing ruins the game plan. Next, I place a card face down and end my turn. I'm ready for whatever you dish out. Here I go. I draw! Before you make a move, I activate Sun Avalon Force. As long as this trap's in play, your card's effects will not work against any of my Sun Avalon. Hold on. That's pretty smart. I summon out my Draconet! I feel the need for speed. Draconet allows me to summon another monster from my deck. I bring out Bitron in defense! Oh my god! Lance so okay, man. I'll use it to create my circuit! Guess what happens now? Setting my Bitron in the Link Arrow! I Link Summon! Link 1! Link Spider! How can you just get all that for free? Using Link Spider's ability, I can summon a monster from my hand directly next to its Link. Time to kick ass. 
I now summon Digitron. You can't do many things you can't even think of. And I have all I need to link summon again. I don't see any difference. I set Link Spider and Draconet in the Link Arrow. I Link Summon, Link 2, Underclock Taker. That's what happens now. So I set Digitron and Multi Sledgehammer in the Link Arrows to- It's all coming together. I Link Summon, Link 3, Xcode Talker. Balance is made to be broken. Xcode Talker, protect the monster you're linked to. Positive card relationships. Destroyed by effects, and it also gains 500 attack points. That's really convenient. So what? Need I remind you, you are stuck in my loop of despair. You can't escape it. But Xcode Talker's second ability will, since it was- Lock time begins. For every monster in the extra monster zone, one of your main monster zones can't be used. Oh no. I'm going to die. Whatever will I do? And thus brings an end to the tragic tale of Playmaker. Thanks! I've been caught in a deadly combo from which there's no escape! Debate the trap Overload Anchor. It shields Xcode Talker from destruction. Coincidence, I think not. I activate the spell card I just threw. Link Processing Failure. My Link Monster will be destroyed in two turns, but until then, if your Link Monster has equal or fewer Link Arrows than mine, they can't attack. That sounds broken. Tell me more. I manifest my circuit! Two is the best number for this job. Fire at least two Flat Monsters! Do you want me to screen her? Or later? Link Summon! Link 4, Sun Avalon, try a Trentier! <laughs> To infinity and you lose. Trust that its special ability more than compensates. It's free real estate. By tributing a plant monster next to its link. Is that fair? Throw a face up spell or trap card on your field for every one of its links. What do you want? I will give it to you. Sun Avalon Daphne is linked too. So I destroy two of your cards. Breaking things is all you're good for. This thing's failure. It's always my turn. That's not all I did! I activate Sunbite Shrine! This spell once again lets me resurrect a plant from my graveyard. From death comes your birth! Or Sunsea Genius Loki! I can Link Summon! Link One Sunbite Thrasher! Sun Avalon Blue! It negates Xcode Talker's special abilities, freeing my monster zones. Break it. Sun Avalon Dryer Trentier, attack Xcode Talker! Negative card relationships. Trentier battles. She gains the attack points of the monster she's linked to. Hence. <laughs> now that's a lot of damage! Over! Looks like I lose. Or do I? Fate. The trap Link Surge Counter. So much expectations, yet it flopped. I will now activate the spell Sun Avalon Cursed Rebirth. That's really convenient. A Link Monster from my graveyard by negating its special abilities. If I want something, I just take it. Sun Avalon Triatrentier! It's always my turn. It's just what I need to build my circuit! Does not sound too bad. In condition is one cybers that is level two or lower. Don't let us down. The Link Arrow. I Link Summon. Link One, Talk Back Lancer. Keep it simple. It's in Talk Back Lancer's special ability. My tribute. Do you know what time it is? Take the Coat Talker from my graveyard and summon it next to my Lancer's Link. From death comes your birth. Claudia to bring back Xcode Talker. That's really convenient. Xcode Talker, strike down his son Avalon by a Trentian. Do you have to say it that way? Go ahead. You will be left with absolutely nothing on your field, Playmaker. That will be with the final victory! Need I remind you, you are stuck in my loop of despair.
You can't escape it. Atrocity's additional effect activates! What the hell does that even mean? Your Link Monster loses 400 attack points for every Link Monster in our graveyards! For every Link Monster? But there are so many of them! No! Xcode Talker! Attack! Go Closing Chaos! We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.